<laughs> okay, um, <laughs> I need to explain what just happened. That cat, okay, there are two cats here. There's the black cat, and then there's that gray cat. The black cat is afraid of everything. The gray cat, she usually doesn't flinch at all, ever. So I was expecting that I would jump up, make a crazy noise, and she would just stare at me. <laughs> but <laughs> she, the one time I have the camera going, she actually got scared and ran away. Anyway, uh, good morrow, Stefan. Today is Wednesday, January 20th, and this morning I weighed 100... <laughs> Obviously, I have returned from Mexico, and I had a bunch of footage that I wanted to show you. Most of what I filmed while we were on the boat, I filmed on my SLR. I've never actually tried to use video that I took with the SLR in an editing program, and it's causing problems. So, the footage from the boat is gonna have to wait probably until next Monday, um, because tomorrow I'm going on a little road trip to Santa Fe, New Mexico, and I am going to take my camera, I'm going to try to film as much of it as possible. Actually, I don't really know what I'm going to film because it's it's just like 12 hours of desert. We'll see. I'll, I'll find something. I'm going to film stuff, and then I'm going to edit it, and I'm going to try to upload it from St. John's College in Santa Fe. The problem with this, as you know, Stefan, is that the St. John's College internet is really, really terrible, so I don't know if it's gonna work. If I'm not able to upload it, I will do that when I'm back here on Saturday. Kitty, I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? I will tell you one little story about my Mexican cruise. Actually, it's, uh, it's not only a story, it's a cautionary tale. If you go on a cruise, Don't eat the shrimp and egg salad sandwiches. They had these things down in the little cafe, and I had one. Actually, I had two of them. Uh, they tasted good going down. Later that night, I'm feeling kind of icky. At this point, it wasn't nausea. My, my joints were getting all achy, and my muscles were getting all achy. I had a fever. It felt like I had the flu. I decided to take a shower. Maybe that would help me feel better. So I'm in the shower, and if you've ever been on uh, a cruise, you'll know that the showers, they're really small and vertical, so you can't really move around a whole lot. And that's when I started to feel nauseous, but I thought it was the boat moving around, and so I thought, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit down right here in the shower and, you know, just like close my eyes and hope it goes away. And so I sat down, and then I started getting this like sour taste in the back of my mouth. It was almost kind of tingly, like, like when you think about, uh, like really spicy buffalo wings and the back of your mouth starts to get all salivate -y, you know? And the next thing I knew, my stomach contracted like I've never felt before, and out of my gaping mouth came this fountain of partially digested shrimp and egg and lettuce and bread and mayo, and the pieces of shrimp didn't really get digested beyond my chewing before I swallowed, so the little chunks of shrimp couldn't fit through the holes in the in the grate above the drain. So it kind of backed things up. I'm sitting there in a puddle of my own vomit. And the shower, it, it didn't have a curtain. It was these, these plastic doors that came together. So it was like a, a sealed container with my puddle of vomit and vomit fumes in the air. It was just a, it was a bad thing. Luckily, the shower head was removable, so I took that off and I, uh, I turned the water pressure way up and I blasted the chunks of shrimp point blank with the water so they blew apart into small enough pieces that they could fit through the holes. I actually felt a lot better after that, but the moral of the story is do not eat the shrimp and egg salad sandwiches. So, depending on the internet at St. John's College, you may or may not see me tomorrow, but Stefan, I will for sure see you on Friday.